So I'm going to ask uh, our West team to uh, play Dr. Uh, Dr. Karen Ross, Secretary Karen Ross's uh, video, because she wanted to welcome everyone and share some thoughts about sustainability and the California role in the sustainable agriculture for the US. Over to you, West guys. Welcome to the Bio World Congress 2021. I wish that we were hosting you here in Sacramento, but virtually is still an important way for us to gather, to learn together, and to plan for our future. And I do believe, despite what we've been through in 2020, that our future is very bright. And it's because of the work that you do that it will be so. You know, California agriculture is a remarkable part of California, this big, beautiful, diverse state. Uh, we're known for our innovation and especially in agriculture. We became that $50 billion farm gate value industry that we are because of our farmers and ranchers constantly adapting and innovating, relying on science and partners throughout the university system and the food chain to continually improve our practices. There are definitely challenges facing us. And it's part of being a bio-based economy that gets me most excited about the future of California agriculture. Doing all of this means that we grow the most nutritious crops possible with the greatest environmental stewardship and with a keen focus on food safety. I can't emphasize enough how important it is that food safety is at the center of all of the practices that we develop for climate, for irrigated ag lands, for pest management. We are the lead agency in California for the implementation of the Food Safety Modernization Act. And clearly, that's a huge lift with 20,000 farms covered under the produce rule. But we have a great team in place. And with partners like you, we will constantly improve our practices to avoid, to prevent foodborne illnesses, to rapidly do diagnosis, and to have full transparency in that system. We also are seeking bold changes in our pest management structures. We've been innovators in integrated pest management for decades. And our records of pesticide use show that we are increasingly decreasing the use of the most toxic pesticides. But Governor Newsom has announced a bold new strategy for how we assess the mill on pesticides and how we reinvest in the industry through our partners in the CSU and UC system to improve the adoption and scale of integrated pest management practices, including expanding organic agriculture. These are very important strategies, and we have a new work group that will be coming together later this month to start developing that new roadmap for us. Most excitedly, I want to talk about all that we're doing in California around climate smart agriculture. I'm so proud of what the Department of Food and Agriculture has done to create a suite of programs funded through the Greenhouse Gas Emission Reduction Fund to partner with our farmers to be part of the solution. The strategies that we seek to reduce our own greenhouse gas emissions and most excitingly, to draw down carbon, to sequester carbon in our soils and on our lands to be part of the solution. Our first Climate Smart program was actually created in the midst of our drought between 2012 and 2016. Since that time, we've invested $80 million partnering with our farmers to implement improved irrigation methodologies to reduce their water use, to reduce their energy use, and to reduce their greenhouse gas emissions. It's been a hallmark program for us and it's continually oversubscribed improving how we use water, which also improves our efficiency of our fertilizer and minimizing the movement of those nitrates below our root zones. We have a very successful dairy digester program and alternative manure management program, over $300 million invested to help us reduce our greenhouse gas emissions and most importantly, reduce our methane short-lived climate pollutants from the dairy sector. Our dairy families have stepped into this space wanting to be leaders on sustainability and being able to convert that dairy waste into renewable energy, whether it's for electricity use on the dairy farm, for renewable natural gas for commercial purposes, 
or very excitingly, for low carbon fuels. That is the way for us to partner with our dairy farms to make them more sustainable and to improve the imprint of what we do in our local communities. The last one I wanna talk about, but it's not the only Climate Smart program that we have, is about healthy soils. Everyone in the world seems to be excited about the soil these days, and they should be. Taking care of our soil, stewarding our soil, preventing it from blowing away, holding soil organic matter to improve water infiltration and water holding capacity, and to really stimulate a thriving biodiversity of fourth of the living species that reside in our soil. That's what we can do, partnering with our farmers for healthy soils practices, whether it's adding compost or mulching or hedgerows that also create pollinator habitat. These are ways that our farmers have stepped up into these programs. We've already invested $40 million and Governor Newsom has proposed an additional $30 million for these programs going forward. We have across government, the Sustainable Ag Land Conservation Program, um, improved energy efficiency for food processors and engine replacement programs, all designed to reduce our greenhouse gas emissions, to sequester carbon and to be a part of the climate solution. In doing that, we will be more in tune with our circular economy, how we can take waste and turn it into useful products. I'm excited about the future. I'm excited about agriculture being a part of thriving, healthy, vibrant rural communities because we've helped create not only good land stewardship, but revenue streams to bring prosperity to our rural communities. Good for our farmers, good for our food systems, good for our workers, good for our local economies. Thank you for what you're doing. I look forward to the results of your Congress and hope to greet you in person in Sacramento in the near future. Thank you.